So what if there was a way to get our kids to be more energetic, attentive, enthusiastic, helpful, interested, determined, optimistic, and joyful? Well, recent psychological research shows that all these things are amplified by being grateful. Furthermore, research suggests that our sense of coherence, which is the sense that things are manageable and the idea that life has meaning and purpose, are also strongly linked to gratitude. Here's one more reason to practice gratitude. Gratitude is one of the character traits associated with life satisfaction. Research has also shown that people who are more grateful are less depressed, anxious, materialistic, and envious when comparing them to those who do not practice gratitude. The best part about gratitude is that it can indeed be practiced. Daily gratitude routines can strengthen your grateful worldview. If you start looking for things to be grateful about in life, the world will begin to seemingly present things to you to be grateful about. These gratitude routines can change your perspective on life and your outlook on the world. This psychological effect can do wonders for your family interactions as well. There have been multiple psychological studies in which participants kept a gratitude journal in which they detailed various things they were thankful for on a regular basis for an ongoing period of time. Upon comparing the journal keepers against those who did not keep track of the reasons for gratitude, researchers found that the grateful participants in the research had higher life satisfaction and were more optimistic about things to come. This is why it might be a good idea for us as parents to try and turn the practice of gratitude into a family ritual. This could really help our kids view the world as a good place and instill confidence and optimism in them and in us as parents as well. Another great thing is that rituals which are practiced at home over the course of a childhood can become an ingrained part of a child's personality. Bridget Grenville Cleave writes in her book on positive psychology that there are a few possible activities which can help us become more grateful. So you can try one of the following. Um, number one, keeping a gratitude journal. She suggests writing about something good that happens about once a week. Anything goes. If it's being grateful that the car didn't break down on the way to work, or for kids, you know, they're grateful they made it onto the swimming team. There are no wrong answers. Number two, try writing thank you letters. Now this one's a bit more formal maybe, but it's a lot of fun to receive a thank you note and it's a wonderful exercise to write one since you will have to focus on something good another person did for you. You can always write the letters without sending them and it'll probably have a similar effect. Number three, is a practice of three good things. We actually do this one at home on the weekends and we go around the table usually by age and each one has to say two or three good things that happened over the course of the past week. Now you'd be surprised how hard it can be to find the third one or even the second one if it's been a really rough week. Um, however, this practice can really change your outlook on things over time. So if you want to start writing a gratitude journal with your kids, you can check out our DIY gratitude journal activity and I'll link it below. And please let us know in the comments if you have any gratitude practices that work wonders for you. See you next time.